All right, we're going to talk, um, get started on drafting today. Um, just kind of what drafting is, why it's important. We can't really build anything in this class if we can't uh, if we can't draw it and if we can't read our drawings. Okay, so just kind of an extreme example. Um, this is the operator's manual for our drill presses, and here are some complicated drawings. But somebody had to draft these, and I, if I need to fix something on the drill press, I go to this. I look for the part number I need by looking at the picture and then I do it from there. So really I, I wouldn't be able to fix or work on uh, the drill press or know how to operate it without without this. So that's kind of an extreme example of drafting. We talk about drafting, we just draw, draw out all of our projects before we, before we build them. So first thing we're going to do is just talk about how to set up a multi-view drawing. Okay. So here's my multi-view paper. Most of all these are two-sided, so you can get two drawings out of a sheet of paper. You're going to need a ruler, okay? And you're going to need a pencil, and a wooden pencil works quite a bit better than a mechanical for drafting. Um, but if all you have is a mechanical, we can, we can make that work. First thing you need to do is set up your border and your title blocks, okay? So to set up your border, you're going to basically just outline the graph paper itself. And your borderline should be your heaviest, darkest, thickest line on your paper. So you might want to go over that a couple of times. The setup of your drawing kind of can kind of make or break the overall neatness and quality of it. So really take your time and get a nice border. You'll get faster at this as you go. Okay, so this drawing is bordered. I got a little messy right there. You're going to want to keep a good eraser on hand while we're doing drafting. Just kind of clean up after yourself. Okay. This is a good time to mention this. Don't ever wipe after you erase something. Don't ever wipe with your hand. Blow it off or shake the paper. But when you go to wiping, you start to smear your drawing quite a bit. Okay, this one's bordered. Now I need to start my title blocks. From the bottom, I'm going to count up two squares, one, two. Okay, so I'm right here, and I'm going to fill that line all the way across with my ruler. And this is the same line weight, the same heaviness and thickness as the border line. Okay, so I got this line with the two squares up from the bottom. Now I need to break my bottom into three even title blocks. So I'm going to count 13 squares over from the left. Draw a vertical line. Same line weight as my border line. I'm going to count over 13 more and do the same thing. Now I need to give myself a couple of construction lines to letter and title my drawing. So if you can eyeball this, that's fine. If not, you're going to measure up an eighth of an inch from the bottom. Put a little itty bitty dot that can easily be erased or covered up later. And then an eighth of an inch down from the top. And do the same thing on the right side. Okay, and then very lightly, we're going to erase this line at the end. Computer went to sleep. 
uh, very lightly connect those dots. You probably can't even see that line on the document camera. I guess barely you can. And do the same thing to the top two dots. Okay, now I'm set up to letter. The middle box is always the name of this drawing. The middle title block is always the name of the drawing. I'm going to just name this one Practice. Okay. On these drawings, you'll use all capital letters. Your letters should touch the bottom and top construction line. They should be real nice and neat and as close to centered up as you can. Really take your time on your lettering. It makes your drawing look nice or look not so nice. I named it Practice. The left title block would be your company name. Um, we're just going to go with DMS. All caps, quarter inch letters, touch the top and bottom construction lines. DMS, and then you're going to sign all of your drawings. First initial, period, last name. Do not write B. Madsen on yours. You're going to write your name. First initial, period, last name. Okay, and this drawing set up ready to go. For now, while we're doing this, you guys can just come in every day and get a sheet of graph paper and set up a front and back. You see this time this took us seven minutes. It was our very first one. It should get down to taking a minute, minute and a half to get two drawings ready to go.